Hey everybody, welcome to another time-lapse commentary video. Uh, the subject for today is Philadelphia number no. 5, the cover. Uh, this cover features the character Brittany, uh, and she's always, since issue 1, she's always fascinated me. One, she was modeled purposefully after uh, Rodney Barnes' daughter. Uh, he wanted her to be in the book and came up with a truly terrifying 11-year-old vampire girl. And, uh, and I've really fallen in love with her since. Uh, and so this was my first shot at putting her on the cover. And uh, up until this point, I really uh, realized, I, I realized I kind of just kept myself mentally as a painter. Uh, this was one of the first times I really started seeing myself as a graphic artist and really trying to do covers that popped off the stand as opposed to just really nice pieces of art. Uh, which is fantastic for gallery work, but when you're when you're doing comics and things that really need to grab attention, uh, you kind of need to work with a different mentality. Uh, and you'll see, like with her sneakers and all of that, like I really enjoy. I had more fun, kind of cartooning and using thicker outlines because I wanted it to blend in with that ground. I know I'm going to have these missing flyers flying everywhere, uh, and what you'll see is I'm working from reference that's off camera. And so I'm kind of just knocking her, knocking the details of her in. And you'll see me kind of like going in darker and darker and darker. Because really, it, like I, I enjoy drawing her as a figure. But as a cover, I really need it to be mysterious. And so it really, it kind of hurt my feelings. But uh, like the level of dark and uh, shadows that I have to put over her face by the end of it. Um, you know, it always hurts sometimes when you have to take out when you have to kill your babies, as they put it. And for, for an artist, sometimes it's it's taking out details that you love. Um, and as you can see here, the, the face basically goes away. But now all of a sudden, it's she's so much more mysterious and creepy. And really, that's that's the goal here for the cover. Uh, I'm going to go in with just simple. I, when I color covers, I really just I'll go black, white and red every time if I can. Um, and you're, what you'll see in this video is because I'm working on layers instead of just working on another piece, uh, I copy her face and, uh, and go ahead and fully render it out because what I need to do is make a missing persons flyer of her. Uh, and that's going to be the flyer that you see flying all around her. And so uh, here you're seeing me literally just making kind of a... Uh, cheap missing flyer and then there you go I, you know i changed the uh, color a little bit and put them on all the flyers so this was one of my favorite covers and i said it was the first cover really even though i enjoy my work on on the pieces up till here uh issue five was the time when i really started seeing philadelphia covers in a different light and really trying to uh experiment and explore with them so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video and uh, I hope some of the insights were pretty cool on how to get how I got where I got. Uh, thanks a lot. Talk soon.